time, I'd like to uh, introduce our uh, guest speaker. Most of you, not all of you know him. Uh, Sheriff Adrian Bush Anderson. You see him around town. You see him all over the place. Uh, you see the car, the red lights, and the white and blue. Um, I've known Bush for many years, and uh, I'm proud to have known him. He came from the ranks, worked his way up. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, Adrian Butch Anderson. Good morning. Can you all hear us? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I want to tell you something. I thought Dover was going to have history today. How many watched the Monster Channel? Yeah, there's a lot of you won't admit it. Well, today I was sitting in my car there looking at my speech that I was going to give today, and I noticed through the cemetery there was a large figure lurking coming through the cemetery, and I looked and I swore it was Bigfoot, and I kept watching, and lo and behold, it was Muggsy Hobart. I thought it was Bigfoot coming through. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's hot. You're here for respect for our vets. And I'm going to be as quick as I possibly can. But I'd like you to listen, especially the children, to some of the things that I have to say. Each spring, we pause to remember the great men and women who have died to secure our peace and our freedom. All across Duchess and the entire country today, different ceremonies like this are going on in remembrance of our vets, the men and women who died under the colors of the red, white, and blue. Today especially, we must remember them and their families. We're at war today. Some of us don't even realize it. His father was in the army. Every day, more young and women are added, more young men and women are added to the fallen heroes list. Now, ladies and gentlemen, is the time that we should come together and reunite. Now's the time to take a good look at our flag, what it stands for. What does it mean? When people now look at the red, white, and blue, we see high taxes, high water, high sewer, gas, food, nasty politics. This has got to stop. We've got to bring our nation back. Our flag should mean the following. Bravery, sacrifice, opportunity, liberty, responsibility, justice, freedom, pride, power, diversity, honesty, loyalty, respect, caring, fairness, and kindness to one and all. It stands for happiness, and happiness is a voyage for all of us. It's not a destination. Let's start today. Live and enjoy this moment. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Remember our vets and their families today. Extend your hand and thank them. Remember the three words that they fought for. Faith, hope, and love. Faith in our beliefs hope and unity and peace, and the love for one another. Remember 9-11-01, the towers, the Pentagon, the fields in Pennsylvania. Remember how it was? We all came together. There were flags on cars. You greeted each other. We were united as one. We even allowed people in front of us in grocery lines. There was no bullying. We were all together. Flags were on the cars. Flags were in our neighborhood. Where are they now? Where are they now? 
We've gone backwards, and we can't do that. Because of 9-11, we're in war in Afghanistan, Iraq, and terrorists all over trying to harm us. Now we must support all of our men and women. And at this time, I would like to draw your attention to the flag right there. All of you watch the flag and listen to this little poem that means so much if you think about it. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly over institutions of higher learning. I stand guard with power in the world. Look up there, do you see me? I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I'm confident, sometimes I'm arrogant, but I'm proud. When I'm flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher and my colors are a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I'm worshiped, I'm saluted, I'm loved, and I'm revered. I am respected, and sometimes I'm feared. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. I was flown at Valley Forge, Gettysburg, San Juan, the trenches of France, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, Guam, Okinawa, Korea, <coughs> Saigon, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, they all know me. I led my troops. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired, but I'm but my soldiers cheered me, and I was proud. I've been burned, torn, and trampled on in the streets of countries that I've helped set free. It doesn't hurt, because I'm invincible. I've been soiled upon, burned, torn, and trampled in the streets of my own country, the United States of America. And when it's done by those whom I've served in battle, it hurts, but I'll overcome because I'm strong. I have slipped the bonds of Earth and stood watch over uncharted frontiers of space from my vantage point on the moon. I've borne silent witness to all Americans' finest hours, but my finest hours are yet to come. When I'm torn into strips and used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the battlefield, when I'm flown at half-mast to honor my soldiers, or when I lie in the trembling arms of the parents of grieving, of the parents of grieving at the grave of their fallen son or daughter, I am proud. For I'm the flag of the United States of America. To each and every one of you, I hope you listen to that and know what we stand for and how we must all stand together. Reach out today and meet someone you haven't met before. Extend your hand, and to each and every one of you, God bless you and have a great day.